one, go! Last match of round two. Over on red, our number seven alliance placing one, two, three game pieces. 51-88 going back for seconds. Over on blue, they were able to score two and 50-10. Well positioned to grab a cone as soon as now we're entering into teleop. Both alliances able to engage on their respective charge stations. At this point in the competition, if you're not getting those points, it is leaving you at a deficit when we enter into our teleop. Now these teams have two minutes remaining. Tiger Dynasty lining up and quickly placing a cone. The Blue Alliance has moved a lot of game pieces into their community for easy pick and place. That is going to reduce their cycle time since they have game pieces so close to them. However, Red Alliance still leading. They're quick and able to grab more cones. 3494 dropping a cone on the high row and getting a link for the Red Alliance. Their partner 5188 doing the same thing on a middle row. 292 and Tiger Dynasty having a little brush up in the center of the field. Not a ton of defense in this match. These two teams are focusing mostly on offense so far. A minute and 10 seconds remaining. Red Alliance leading. Area 51 scoring another link. Blue trying to maintain their lead. 76-57 Robo Blazers quickly scoring a cone. Their partner, 76-17, that's the Robo Blazers, able to drop a cone right next to Tiger Dynasty. Robo Blazers able to score a link. Their partner, Tiger Dynasty, along with the Thunderbots going back for more. 40 seconds remaining. Red Alliance leading, but not mine much. Only two points separate these two alliances as our teams now move into endgame. It is a mad dash to try and score as many game pieces as possible while also getting points from balancing on the charge station. Red Alliance leading by five. Quadrangles lining up with Panther Tech on the charge station. 15 seconds remaining. They're trying to get Area 5188 to join them. It looks like Red is almost able to get a triple engagement. Blue has it. Five seconds left. So does Red. Two, one. This is gonna be a close match to see who's gonna continue on to face our number one alliance. And we do have a result up on the board. It's going to red! Our number seven seed upsetting number three by six points, 157 to 151. That means our number seven alliance is going to move on to round four, match 11 to face off against our number one alliance, this Cinderella story here at Indiana State Champs. Our number three alliance is not out yet though. They will be moving on in the lower bracket, round three, match 10. Congratulations to our winning number seven alliance.